Hi everyone, this is Arcadius and welcome back to Naval Creed. Today we will be reviewing the British ship Arethusa. Now, this ship is uh, a light cruiser that you get in the game, and all in all, she's not really that impressive. Though she does have some unique characteristics. So let's start with the guns. She has six 6 inch guns, or 152 millimeters, ranged in two, uh, three triple turrets, two in the front, one in the rear. So her armament is kind of lacking already. She does have a few secondaries in the bag, nothing special, and she does come with torpedoes, one triple launcher on each side, and they do go out to a range of 12.3 at 52 knots and do 13,000 damage each. However, there's only three per side, though they can single fire, so that does make them useful to try and land all three on targets. Her AA is good on paper, however I find that in game it is actually pretty lacking, though she does come with a fighter to help with that. Uh, the main thing that sets her apart is that she has regular repair, she can either take heal or smoke, she cannot equip both, and she can equip speed boost or torpedo reload booster. Now with speed boost, this ship is actually really really fast. With a base speed of 33 knots, I think it goes up to about 36 and a half or so. Um, so she is definitely a very fast ship. However, her health, only 26,800. Armor is 57 millimeter belt, max of 3 inches. It's probably on the turret faces or around the magazines. I, yeah, the ship is very, very squishy, and she doesn't really have the armament to make a real difference. Most of the time, I just AG spam with her and hope to set as many fires as I can and try and shoot my torpedoes around islands, because other than that, the ship really has no good spot. I mean, in my opinion, Leander is better. So, it all depends on your playstyle. I choose to go for the heal rather than the smoke screen simply because it just does not have the health to survive very often and you're going to be shot at and you're going to lose a lot of health. So I have that to regain some of what I lose. And then speed boost to escape from situations where I do end up getting too close to a ship or I do find myself in trouble. Now the ship isn't all terrible. Like it, I kind of have a negative opinion on it, but I have had some good games in it. Uh, surprisingly good games, I should say, but that was mainly to using the torpedoes. If you run around and just kind of ignore your guns for the most part, except for using them against cruisers and destroyers, and just torpedo everything else, you can be pretty effective if your torpedoes land, but they have to land. And with that, let's throw her into a game and see how she does. Alright, here we have ourselves a game. One carrier, four battleships, six cruisers, and one destroyer. So not a bad game all in all. Let's have a little bit of everything. 8.6 second reload. I do have some health and speed buffs applied, so my ship is has more health and will move faster than normal. So keep that in mind. Little rendering problem with their fighter there. That's alright. Like all British cruisers, her maneuverability is pretty good, and that is important when it comes to being useful because you can use that maneuverability to dodge shells that would otherwise do a bunch of damage to you. Torpedo angles. Pretty good. I think she only does have single launch torpedoes. You can't have a wide spread, even though it does say so. Torpedo angles are really good though. I mean, even rear, you shoot them from the rear. With your great maneuverability, you just swing around and you have three more. Gun rotation. I have my, my ship focused for accuracy at this time because there's so few guns. I mean, you're going to want them to hit. They're worthless if they don't hit. Um, 
But gun angles are pretty good. And then it's your speed boost. Yeah, I can get my ship up to about 38.8 knots. Like I said, I do have some speed buffs supplied, so you will not get as f fast as I do at first. She has the one aircraft, and that is it. So you have to use it sparingly. And you just kind of use Resonichi sparingly. Armor piercing can be okay, but you have to be up at close range. And if you're at close range in the ship, you're doing something wrong. But I got an insta fire on the Aeobo over here. So that was pretty good. Just try and go for as many fires as you can. I do say the Mahan. Mayhem, depends on how you say it. But as you can see, this other Arathusa, she's just getting absolutely lit up. And within a few seconds, she's actually going to be sunk. Not that I'm going to do much better if I keep rolling in myself. I'm going to switch to armor piercing here, see how it works. Armor piercing at close range is pretty effective. But you can see it doesn't do much against long range targets. I could torpedo this Aoba, but I want to save my torpedoes for the Normandy over there. But I have to hope that he does not torpedo me, because if he does, I'm not going to kill him. You know what? I'm just going to go for it. Let's switch back to AG. Let's see if we can get some traps on this Normandy. The secondaries are a thing you fear in the ship. And move on. Don't like that double fire. So we have an Aobo over here. Running aground. We have the repulse over there. My torpedo should be reloaded by the time I reach the repulse. So let's try and torp our sure as well. And burn down the Aoba while we're moving. But I don't want to be torped by the Oba, so we're going to come in at an angle. Also, if the repulse shoots me, it's going to go right through my nose, because I do not have the armor to deal with it. Alright, so I'm safe from torpedoes now. Because Ioba only has rear facing torpedoes.
you just kind of launch your torps as often as you can. Use your guns to set some fires. And that's pretty much all. So now it's time to go play with the carrier. I'm going to launch my fighter now, even though it's doubtful it'll do anything. And as you can see, I've without the torpedoes, I'm not very effective. The torpedoes are what are important on the ship. The AA is going to town here. I'm getting a few planes, but nothing major. And there we go. We have a game. Not too exciting, but not too boring either, so it's pretty good. 197,000 damage, 4 ships sunk, 132 shell hits, 8 torpedo hits, 7 aircraft shot down, 7 citadels, 3 fires, 2 floodings, and 82 secondary armament hits. The ship is not privy to the free XP bonus, so you cannot use her to grind free XP. However, like I said, those torpedoes are the bread and butter of the ship, because without it, your guns just do not have enough punch to make a difference in the game and your health doesn't have enough impact, your secondaries are practically worthless, they shatter, and your AA on paper is good, but in reality doesn't actually do much. So you're just like a giant destroyer, pretty much, but you have to choose between a heal or a smoke. So it depends on what your play style is. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed in this ship, and if I were to have the option to buy her again, I probably would not. Um, but if British Cruisers are something you're into, if you saw the gameplay and you said, oh, that looks like fun, then sure, why not go for it? It's up to you. It's your game, your purchase. However, I do not play her that often, mainly because I do not exactly find her as fun as I wanted her to be. But with the 12.3 kilometer torpedoes, she definitely can be interesting. And with that, I'm going to end my video here for today. And join me tomorrow. Take care.